Hello you guys and welcome by the Arcade Saga, welcome by another video. Actually another care collab today, which I uh, always enjoy making. Uh, sometimes I have a bit more information to share, sometimes a little less. Like on my slipper arcades, I didn't have much, I'm not that experienced with them. And uh, But uh, for this time I may have a little bit more. I'm fairly new to uh, this category of plants because I now have a greenhouse for about a year and I did extend my collection in this uh, category, in this family within the uh, Big Orchid family and I'm talking about the Cattleyas and um, Cattleya types and we're going to share uh, our care collab uh, our, uh, I'm sorry, our care uh, information in this care collab and I'm joining uh, this one with uh, Karen's Orchids and Ninja Orchids and all three of us have this beauty in our collection and uh, I will try to pronounce it right it's the Rin Cattleyanta Fushing Happy Holidays right uh, from um, straight out, <laughs> out of my head I will check it on the tag with you guys but I think that's uh, the name for this beauty and uh, I did uh, film it, uh, some I did make some footage I'm sorry if, uh, right after this one started opening its flowers uh, just to see you how uh, this um, does change colors it will get more white in the, on the blooms but uh, let's uh, check that out and in the meantime I will uh, take this orchid into the orchid room and we will have a closer up there. Well, actually, the first part is also in the orchid room. Well, let's go over uh, to the orchid room. <laughs> this is just uh, to let you see how uh, it opens up. It's uh, fairly, fairly yellow and it should widen up. I think the coming days it will. And I will wait a little bit by uh, um, recording the actual care collab video so I can include this. And probably the colors are a bit changed by then, but this is a first time bloomer for me, so I have no idea. But on the picture, there was more white in, in, in the, the blooms on the sepals and the petals, as far as I know. But as you can see, it's still uh, quite yellow. So I thought, well, I'm going to take this chance to just include this uh, clip as well, so we can see how they open up. And um, yeah, let's uh, give it a few days and then revisit it, the blooms and see how... Uh, if there was any color change and this is the second uh, clip and this is while I'm talking about the care where, or where I'm actually making the care collab and I hope you can see it's a little bit different already it has a little bit of purple here and there I didn't notice this before but I do now and I see that these parts um, I'm sorry these parts are starting to widen up a bit more but um, this is about th yeah I think three or four days after I did that first clip about the blooms that we just saw so I see some change uh, going on here but I think it should be uh, getting uh, a bit more and I'm not sure because this is a first time bloomer for me it's a very young plant it doesn't have much bulbs but um, it's a blooming site, obviously, and uh, I'm really happy with it. I uh, had no idea that Karen and Nina had this orchid as well. I just saw it on a picture and I thought, well, I'm going to uh, buy it. So I didn't see it in a, in a video somewhere so I could uh, have a look at the blooms. But I really liked them on that picture. But I expect some more white. It should have more white with that yellow striping going on. Uh, inside of those uh, sepals and petals also here with a beautiful purple maroony lip also some yellow on there so beautiful uh, colors color differentiation there also some yellow within the lip again so yeah it's a beautiful beautiful one beautiful blooms fairly large I think you already noticed it in comparison with my hand so um, two blooms for me this time but like I said it's the first time bloomer and yeah didn't bloom before I just checked it but so let's get uh, let's get over the care as you can see we have uh, roots coming out of the pot we have nice roots in the pot 
and we have also a nice root going here that is um, going for the for the pot as well we have some aerial roots and that's fine as long as we have enough roots inside of the pot but I uh, have this uh, growing as we can uh, could see in the intro on the highest shelf in my uh, greenhouse because the cattleyas most of the times do like their uh, their light as is this one so I try to give it uh, as much light as I can I do not overdo it of course so I don't give it any direct sunshine sunlight but I I try to give it quite high light and apparently it did receive enough this uh, growing season because it started uh, blooming so I think that's a nice sign and also you can see I really like the colors of the leaves of this one beautiful shiny nice leaves these are a little bit more yellowish but those are also the older ones so but these leaves are beautiful and some of them had two leaves as we can see here and some of this cane has one and this currently blooming uh, has also one so yeah it's not completely sure if it uh, wants to make uh, two or one leaf per cane these guys have two again <laughs> so uh, but yeah most of the times the calea types that do uh, are bifoliate so they are also make two leaves or every single time they make two or more leaves those uh, are classed to be a little bit more uh, difficult to grow and I do agree with that uh, they are not that vigorous they will grow for you but uh, don't expect in most cases uh, a heck of a lot of roots at least um, in the beginning maybe when they get older and they're really happy and you continue to give them good um, growing care you might uh, save some roots and uh, may, um, they do make uh, new, new roots and you can keep them as well and eventually you may end up with quite a root system but uh, it takes a little bit more work generally speaking but I do give this the same care when I just uh, start um, to grow in uh, self-watering and I have videos on that how I do that but I uh, give them the same uh, treatment same uh, way that I transfer them into self-watering so that's uh, that's all the same what I also do is uh, pretty much the same I don't uh, don't feed my orchids much but I do feed them regularly so weekly weekly that's um, that's how I uh, I really like to grow my orchids and in summer it's around 100 to 150 parts per million and in winter it's around 50 to 80 but I noticed that most of my plants do keep growing and blooming so I don't go below uh, 50 anymore that's what I did when I grew them in a home but it was fairly darker there and now I have them in the orchid room or in the greenhouse and I have more light so they keep on growing uh, better not as much as in summer but still growing so therefore they need some fertilizer as well and I noticed that this one yeah that it's sort of not there on this cane maybe that one will grow maybe another node will come there as well so if that does it needs some feed to uh, put up a cane again and uh, eventually of course blooms but first we need a nice strong cane and I must admit I think I'm happy with that last cane that is blooming now but I think they can be a, a bit, bit bigger and a bit uh, thicker so that's my goal to get it a little bit uh, stronger but it's, uh, like I said a fairly young plant and it needed to adjust to my uh, situation but I think uh, the overall it looks uh, healthy and happy happy holidays <laughs> so uh, yeah it's a beautiful one to have in your collection it's not very difficult I think but um, yeah, you need to keep it uh, light and not too light but it's with most uh, cattleyas and too light is uh, sunburn light of course that uh, kind of stuff but they can really can take some light and that's why you get those nice very fairly um, light green colored leaves then you know that you give them uh, quite some light and they may go even sometimes a little bit of yellow because of the light At cat uh, with a cattleya that's okay they uh, they sometimes just needed some cattleyas this one also doesn't nice nice uh, bright yellow green leaves should give the indication that you have enough light for this one to let it bloom as you can see in this uh, this care collab and if I don't forget, I will put a, a video up uh, with the fertilizers that I use and some hormones. 
so uh, I go over that in a separate video that I can link now that's why I want that to have it on my video uh, on my uh, channel because otherwise it gets so long I have the tendency to make the videos a little bit too long I think so uh, therefore I try to, to split them up a little bit and uh, so yeah if you want to know more about that uh, please check that video out as well and I have this one growing with a top layer of pebbles these are some pebbles and the rest is some uh, pumice the larger pumice and I can take this out where, so we can have a look in a pot and then I know if I only use pumice sometimes um, I mix in some lacquer but uh, let me grab it uh, out of the pot and then we will be back so I did uh, take it out of the pot and it's a little bit easier for me to do on my uh, up potting table in, uh, still in the arcade room but so we don't have that beautiful uh, black backdrop there I must admit I'm a bit impressed because when the last time when I checked this one I do my three monthly uh, checkups for the reservoirs in the, in the pots and uh, if you want to know more of that I have videos about it why I do it etc but um, I, I didn't I, in my head I didn't have that much roots and we don't see much here but we do see the big pumice and I don't see a lacquer so probably that is what what I uh, potted it up in maybe here and there a little bit lacquer but not much anyhow pumice my favorite media but look at this beautiful what a root so this one uh, the last few months made uh, quite a lot of roots I really had no idea so yeah it can be uh, it can absolutely be vigorous that's funny you guys I'm giving a care clap but I <laughs> I had no idea but as you can see yeah so I think this one is really happy it started off making a few roots that's just so that was in my mind but I thought a few is okay of course but I really enjoy this uh, even even more what a beautiful sight all those roots so yeah that's very promising I'm, I'm, I'm I'm sorry about it. I'm really uh, impressed with this with this plant. It does so well, and um, it may uh, it may sound a bit strange because I really thought it had a few roots. So um, yeah, and some beautiful nice one here. Well, anyhow, maybe this one uh, as a bifoliate can be uh, or half on half and half bifoliate because it only did make one leaf here. But it can be uh, more vigorous than than we uh, than I thought. Those are beautiful things to discover, of course. So I'm really uh, looking forward to, to next season with this uh, new uh, this beautiful root uh, um, system. So I may have, as you can see, this cane. I think it's a little bit shorter than the last one, the one before, and uh, this one had some. Uh, some blooms but that was before I get it did get it so it came with this cane and probably had this one going already I'm not completely sure anymore but I grew uh, this this cane grew on in my care and oh yeah I promise you guys which let you show the tag it says here Catleya but it's uh, it's officially oh it's a rec it has a new name, something like that. The first part. The rest is uh, the few sh shoe glory. Happy holidays uh, was uh, still the same. And let me see for the orchids and more. I did get it, did get it from orchids and more. I do forget this, but uh, I have uh, from time to time people ask uh, me where did I get it. So I try to uh, put it in. Uh, from now on, where I, where I did buy this uh, the plants, but uh, yeah, like I said, I'm impressed. Beautiful, that makes me so happy. And that's because, uh, as we, uh, as you probably know, if you grow orchids as well, we put in so much time and money, of course. We try to do it so so well, and we try to figure out a way to get them happy. And when you don't expect it, and you pull it out of the pot, and you see these uh, roots, yeah. That's a big surprise. So, uh, absolutely ha uh, 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 happy holidays. <laughs> yeah, I think I covered everything about this orchid. If you have uh, questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section below, of course. Uh, or maybe have some suggestions. Always welcome as well. And um, 
Yeah, that's it. I would like to thank you for, for being here. If you didn't already, please subscribe to my channel. I have uh, quite some more arcades that I show from time to time, that I talk about from time to time. And I really, like I said, I enjoy these care collapse. So you will uh, see more care collapse from my side as well. Thank you for watching and I really hope to see you at one of my next videos. Bye bye!